So the personal property tax is a tough tax, but we got to find some way to backfill it. So I have two ideas. Uh, one is to make it a little less uh, cumbersome. And my my bill uh, says anything that you purchase that costs less than five hundred dollars is not. You don't need to track that. You only pay for um, ta a personal property tax on items that cost five hundred dollars or more. That might be helpful for a lot of people. Make it a little simpler and a little easier. The other one is, you know, they talked about the trigger, um, which we passed in 2008. The first hundred thousand dollars of your uh, personal property tax is no longer taxed, and that would really help a lot of small businesses. So I I like that approach. Um, I, I'm not sure that that will pass either. Local option tax, I just don't think is the best way to pay for cities and counties who, and most of their, I mean a third of their money generally goes to, to uh, fire and police. I just don't think that's the way to pay for fire and police. And the same with uh, a little bit of money goes to education. Don't think that's the way to pay for education. Emergency help, uh, mosquito abatement. I just don't think that's the way to pay for I don't think local options should be saved for something like public transit. So, not in favor of the, of the local option tax idea. Um, but I would, if somebody can come up with a good idea on how to get rid, to repeal the personal property tax and replace it with a different um, tax or something, that's what I'd want to do.